do at those meetings anyway. It's a club for girls who explore space, silly. <laughs> I have some bad news, Space Girl Explorers. Our camping trip to Europa is canceled. What? Oh, no. Why? Because Kiwi, Warbler, and Magpie are out sick. I'm so sorry. Seriously? But this was my big chance to get my final badge and earn my Saturn stripes. You can always try for your trailblazing badge back here on Earth, Robin. How am I supposed to make an important discovery on Earth? Everything's already been discovered here. I'm sorry, but is it fair to Kiwi, Warbler, and Magpie to go without them? Well, I feel bad that they're not feeling well, but I don't think they'd want us to miss the camping trip because of them. Yeah! That's true. Okay then, let's put it to a vote. What do you say, Space Girl Explorers? Yes! Booster rockets! Engaged! Wings! Back! Space visors! Down! Blast off! Jupiter is so pretty. And look at all the moons. It is beautiful, isn't it? There's Europa, sixth largest moon in our solar system. Starling, you just earned your Jovian moon badge for setting down on all four of Jupiter's large moons. Wow. And Lark, you've earned the O2 badge for exploring all of the solar system's rocky surfaces with oxygen atmospheres. There's not much oxygen on Europa, but I'll take it. Well, I'm gonna earn my 150th badge for trailblazing right now and get those Saturn stripes for my sash. According to my calculations, there's a liquid ocean under the ice sheet here on Europa. That's true, but unfortunately, it's already been discovered. It has? I'm afraid so. And the trailblazing badge is awarded only for making a new discovery. Okay, well, plan B. I have also discovered that Europa is covered with dark lines that crisscross the surface. Yes, we call them lineae. Oh. Well, did you know that Europa has tall icy spikes called penitents? That are caused by direct overhead sunlight. Oh. Don't be so hard on yourself, Robin. Sometimes important discoveries come when you least expect them. Well, how did Starling get her trailblazing badge? Funny story, actually. This one time, I got lost on the far side of the moon. <sighs> and that's how I discovered a rare meteorite that no one had ever seen before. Well, that was lucky. What about you, Lark? You only have nine badges, but one of them is the trailblazing badge. I fell into a hole on Mars. Whoa! The hole turned out to be an ancient lava tube that no one knew about before. Amazing! Don't worry, Robin. You'll make your discovery one day. I've been trying so hard all this time with no success. And you two got your badges by accident. Well, if you want to be a trailblazer, sometimes you have to go off the beaten path. Sandpiper, May I have permission to leave the campsite? I feel like I just need to be alone for a while. Permission granted, cadet. Just don't wander off too far. What does that even mean? Sometimes you have to go off the beaten path. Hey, it's not my fault I followed the rules. 
paths are there to be followed. That's why they're called paths. Ava, are you picking up that sound? Affirmative. It appears to be an old-style radio signal. That can't be naturally occurring, can it? Negative. <laughs> I picked up a faint signal, and it sounds like someone is sending us a message. I'm not receiving any signal. Well, I don't hear it now either, but I swear I heard it before. Okay, well, we're Space Girl Explorers. Let's investigate. What are we listening for? I don't know. It was mostly beeping and static, but I could have sworn I heard a voice in there. What was it saying? Not sure. We need to find a place where the signal is stronger. All of you, let's spread out. Keep your ears open and let's find Robin's message. Here, signal, signal, signal. Here, signal, signal, signal. Where was I standing when I heard it the last time? Space girls reporting for duty. Ears open. I think I got it. I hear it now, too. It's coming from this direction. <gasps> Hello, aliens. Hmm. Sounds like we've got a real mystery on our hands. But the signal is so weak. We have to find a way to hear the whole message. What we need is a telescope that's designed for listening to these kinds of signals. Aren't all telescopes the same for, like, seeing things? No. Some telescopes are for seeing, and some are for listening, too. What we need is a radio telescope. Wow! How did you know that? Easy. Telescopes, badge number 41. There's a powerful radio telescope in the Narada Array. But that's all the way off in orbit of Mars. Then we need to head to Mars! All right, Space Girl Explorers, pack up! Yay! I see it! There's the Narada Array Radio Telescope Station! Robin, turn the telescope toward the source of the sound. So we can boost the signal. Badge number 98. And unscramble it. Badge number 103. It's working! The mysterious signal is coming from... Outside our solar system? Wow. What? But where? And who could have sent it from so far away? Could it be from aliens trying to talk to other aliens? <laughs> Probably not, Starling. We've heard mysterious signals coming from space before, but the sounds turned out to be from pulsars. What's a pulsar? Ava, some visuals, please. When some stars get old, they explode in a supernova. What's left over after the explosion is called a pulsar because it spins and sends out pulses of energy. Oh, a pulsating star. Pulsar! Exactly. When pulsars spin, they make sounds? They do. Sometimes very loud ones. We can hear them as radio waves. But this signal isn't a pulsar. It's something else. What? What is it? That's just it. I'm not sure. And it's getting late. We have to get back home. Ava, did you record the strange sounding message? Affirmative, Sandpiper. Space Girl Explorers, let's head back to Stardust Bay. Hey, look who's back. How'd the camping trip go? Robin detected a mysterious signal from outside the solar system that could be one of the greatest discoveries of all time. Wow, that's amazing. Can we help? Thanks, but we've got this one. Ugh. We have a genuine mystery on our hands, Coot. The signal seems to be coming from a star system quite far away from our own. Really? There's more. In the message, we heard what sounded like a voice saying something. Have a listen to this. Ava? Hello, oh, That voice sounds very familiar. Ava, please download the signal into my... Inverse frequency modulator. And let's see if we can unscramble it. Affirmative. Hello, My name is Coot, and this interstellar frequency map will give you directions to my home world called Earth. Oh! Wait, is that you, Coot? How is that possible? <laughs> yeah, that's me, all right. 
from a long time ago. I think I may be able to explain. You see, uh, that message came from an old space probe that I built myself and launched from Earth when I was a young rocket many years ago. I was hoping someone would hear it someday. Someone from a distant world in another galaxy and try to make contact with us. But the battery should have died years ago. Your probe may have been pulled into the orbit of a distant star whose energy somehow recharged its dead batteries and caused it to start transmitting again. <laughs> By Jove, you might be right. And because that star is so far away, it took all these years for the signal to reach us back here. That's right, Starling. How did you know that? Easy. Badge number seven, light speed. It takes many years for light or radio waves to travel from Earth to the nearest star. I'm still in school, but I hope to be a space explorer when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Cadet, I think you've definitely earned this. The trailblazing badge! And your Saturn stripes for completing all 150 badges. See? I hope to be a space explorer when I grow up too, Coot. Well, I'd say you already are, Robin. <laughs> 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 